Okay, so that happens every time. Every time I load in from old mama bear here, sounds like just a big old fart. Okay. So what did we do last time? We only streamed for about an hour last time, and what happened? Oh right, we went to find Java to get the um. the pass to get to the uh, the unknown land that's what it was so when we went there we had to go into the mine and just kill a bunch of things we're fairly strong so it wasn't that big of a deal and then oh yeah Justin told Sue that he doesn't want to be uh, adventuring with her anymore and she went off crying and then ran back we got sudden voice acting for some reason and she hit him with a pan and then left again <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it. <laughs> and I think we're just supposed to have dinner. What's wrong? You always say, really, Stu? All right, and get so excited. All right, we're not excited anymore. Apologize, being older. You started it. You and your dumb hat. It's been quite a while since we had dinner together, just the two of us. Yo, you just said it's not the same without Sue, and now you're just like, you know what? Sue's a real pain in the ass, we never get to eat alone anymore. Sort of lonely without Sue around. Yeah, okay, there. Also, do you like the sad music that they threw in this time, because Sue's not around? Wow, they gotta cut me deep already. So we'll be coming over tomorrow. She'll be coming over all the time. Oh right, Justin's leaving without telling his mom. Typical JRPG protagonist. Typical. I'm just gonna leave my mother at the ripe old age of 11. <laughs> the stew today is really delicious. I've never had delicious stew ever before in my life. Oh, and now he's he's trying to butter up a little bit. So she's not sad when he leaves. <laughs> Ready to go to bed? One of those days, eh? <laughs> Such a fuss, I make this all the time. This is one of my best dishes. Well, it's just... Anyway, today it's extra special. Oh yeah, you know why it's extra special? Because he's leaving tomorrow. We're just gonna sit here and listen to this track a little bit. It's actually kind of sad when you think about like the implications of this dinner. Like it could be the last dinner that they have together. And I guess that's kind of why this song is playing on a certain track, I guess. I like it. You're such a strange kid. It's just the same as always. Mama. No, it's not. Anyway, Mom, where do we keep our photo album? I think it's in the chest of drawers over there. You think my birthday picture's there? The one with me swinging the sword around? So cool. Yo, he is straight up just being like, you know what, let's have a good night, because I'm, <laughs> I'm blowing dodge in the morning. Come to think of it, the steamer to the new continent leaves tomorrow morning. You want to see it off? What's wrong, Mom? Why do you say that suddenly? Right now you're still a kid, but in a few years, Justin, you might leave on an adventure. So I... Oh, see? Say, so Justin, why don't you sleep with me tonight? Come on, like you did as a baby. Excuse me? What are you talking about? I'm not a baby anymore. But no matter what, not today. Don't take it serious, I was just joking with you. 
You're just too funny. You made me laugh so hard I have tears in my eyes. Oh yeah, wait till you wake up and your son is gone. <laughs> no, Ma, actually, tomorrow I'm... I'm well. I'm going to turn in now. Tell me about it tomorrow. Good night. Um, right. Good night, Mom. Okay, so is she like... Does she know? And she's just trying to be cool. Justin, you get sleep too. No, oh, I think she knows. <laughs> His face just looked really funny there. <laughs> Guess that's everything. Gets us goodbye to this room too. All right, to Justin's living room. Freaking stomping around, Justin. Father. Oh. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell mom after all. Father. And grandfather, too. I'm going to the new continent. I'm going to travel the world just like you did. Thanks to your spirit stone, father. The stone told me that Angelo isn't a myth. It's on the new continent. Now I know. You must have felt like this on the morning of your first adventure, too. Father? Do you... Do you think I can really be like you? Everyone that Mom tells me about was much stronger... ...and much braver than me. Much... Much more like an adventurer. You're right. This is nothing like me at all. Right, Father? I'll leave my picture here for you. I promise that I'll become an adventurer greater than you. Goodbye, Mom. <laughs> this puts a hole in the wall. I'm going. Go on an adventure. Oh, the mist. It's misty today. Oh, it's because it's early. My mind's never up this early. Wow, you mean mail comes in the morning? Sure, it's a job. What about you? Why are you up so early? Can you keep a secret? Yo, he's just telling everybody but his own mother. <laughs> this dude's making bad decisions. All right, letters to mom and Sue. Birdie, you deliver them. Birdie just walks away, doesn't say anything. Doesn't say bye, doesn't say good luck. Just walks away. <laughs> Enjoyed a lazy day off in PJs? Heck yeah. Good to hear you had a nice day. A nice comfy day. Well, there it is. How the frick do I get over there? Sir, let me in. Passengers only, yeah, I'll check this out. It's a real one. I had to spell it for him. It's so old and it reeks of something. Oh right, we learned last stream that the guy we got this from, um... Peed on it. 
Here we go. Don't drink on bold water, you'll get sick. Yo, what a nice dude. Goodbye, everybody. Passengers are in. Lock them up. <laughs> Why do they gotta lock it? <laughs> hey, I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, after days and days of PC issues. From hardware to software. I finally feel like I have a grasp on it. And it's getting better, so that's very good. You freaking seagulls. They're so loud. They're louder than me talking. Shut up. It's hopeless. I'm so tired. This is me. Every morning I wake up. He's looking very serious, wonder what's wrong. To me, it looks like he's thinking of jumping in, we gotta stop him. Yo, don't kill yours. Oh, he was gonna, okay. Okay, well now me saying this was me every morning doesn't really make me look <laughs> very good right now, but I take it back. I'm <laughs> don't surprise me like that, you almost made me fall. I was just waiting for interesting bottles dripping from the new world. Okay, it's me again. <laughs> You've been having PC issues too? What's up? What's happening? I've been around the block. <laughs> I'm Lightning Rick. Give me any jobs and I run away as quick as lightning. And if you're here, then you must be going to the new world. Hey, that's right. I see you're following in your dad's footsteps to be an adventurer. Lily must be proud, right? Well, funny story. I'm kind of an a-hole child, and I didn't tell my own mother I was leaving. Have you joined the adventures at such a young age? Wow, terrific. New world dreams, hopes, and new finds. The Adventure Society is looking for a few first-rate kindred spirits. That's me, Dubs. So we just walk on then? You bar out of the way, don't stand there. Oh, okay, sorry. Sir, you smell of salt air. <laughs> I'm gonna say that to people I meet. Sir, you smell of salt air. Man of the sea, thanks boy. I've run into those issues as well. It's always something, Ginger, you know? Why are you going to New Parm, despite my looks? I'm a merchant. Oh, we're going to get clothes in the new world. Okay, so I really hope this new world is, like, legit. Like, just, like, completely different. Maybe it'll be, like, all technology and stuff. I don't know. Only one way to find out. It is early. Mom's probably not even getting ready to open yet. Yo, what is this freaking line? Look, Budge. Everyone, please get in line. Yes, yes, that boy there. Okay. I'll line up and stop calling me boy. I'm gonna budge. How about that? 
Oh, well, don't go too too much out of your way to find out. I just thought if by chance you had the same mic as I do, it might. I might be able to help. I'll just imitate a civilian. Hey, hey, miss. Talk to me, Roger. <laughs> My dude's talking like he's <laughs> trying to communicate by walkie-talkie. Over. We spent half a year just picking out clothes. Sir, you must have time on your hands. No, let's let's go, we're going. Yep, see ya. Wait up there, boy. Uh oh. I guess Jeff's pass is too old. Oh no. Look hanging out of your pocket, that's almost like a signal to thieves saying steal me. Huh? <laughs> steal me. Oh, what's this? A letter? Oh no, it's a letter from mom. She knew, I knew it. Keep standing there and I'll push your ass in the ocean. Okay, little savage. This, it's a letter from mom. I knew it. Gonna make me cry? Gonna make me cry? You gonna do that to me? Oh wait, never mind. From Lily the Skull to Mr. Goss, President of the Adventurous Society. Not to be read by Justin. Yo, we're reading this. It doesn't help his parents at all. Spends all day playing adventure. Comes home covered in bruises. Gets scolded for his mischief. Brings home big bumps on his head. This hopeless naughty little boy used to live in our house. One day this naughty boy cried. It was the day he found out he'd never see his beloved father again. Since that day, the naughty boy has become a greenhorn adventurer. That adventurer named Justin is friendly, simple, and scatterbrained. I can't say he's anywhere near full-fledged, but he's begun to walk on his own. On his own. When I see his single-minded figure in my dreams, I can proudly say, This boy is my son. Please. Mr. Goss, please help this red-haired greenhorn adventurer, my son. Help him follow his dreams. Yo, why am I crying right now? Mom knew all along. Huh? There's more. Naughty, naughty Justin. Knowing you, I thought you'd open this letter and read it. I thought you'd grown a little, but I guess you're still my naughty little boy. Listen, take care of your health. Your dad used to say... An adventurer's health is his greatest asset. And, just one last thing. Wherever you go, try to follow your dreams with all your heart, but don't lose yourself. Goodbye, Justin. Yeah, what you doing there? You're the last one. Come on, get on board. Yo, why was that so sad? Mom, thank you. Goodbye. I'll be back soon. You like the art style? Yeah, I really like this. I think I, l I enjoyed so much because I never played the PS1 version. A lot of people who've played the PS1 version, they hate this remake because of the remaster textures and everything, but I enjoy it. Like, this looks really good to me. <laughs> well, let's look around the ship. You're gonna make me do something on the ship now? Jump in. 
thought he was actually going to do something there. Let's go, no, don't actually jump in. So this is what makes the steamer go. Cool. There'd be trouble if this stops. Oh, that better not be an old foreshadow. I like the feel of the breeze blowing across the deck. You're a strange one. True that. Birds, shut up. The men are all working, so don't bother them. Sorry. Y'all listen to that chair squeak. Something's wrong with the ship. Maybe the start of a great adventure. Yo, my man wants the ship to go down. It's just the crane. Nothing wrong with the ship. <laughs> Definitely looks like, yep, we can climb this. Let's fix the crane. You know what? I kind of like that. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Check on my leg. I don't have a leg, it's in the rope. Okay, that was a very weird animation, but whatever. <laughs> the ship is sailing smoothly. What you doing? You're spacing out. Come on, lookout duty. We probably shouldn't distract him then, because I'm sure pirates will not get us or anything like that. No, no, of course not. There will be no pirates here at all. Harder than sea spirits. My name is Justin. But what are sea spirits? And what are you praying for? The sea spirits are the gods that protect us. Oh. I'm sure it won't make them mad at all. Every day swab the decks. Oh. I actually don't have to talk to everybody. Oh, this dude's gonna be important. I can already tell. That's a nice compass. <laughs> no pirate zone. This dude has a portrait. He's important. Ah, welcome. I'm the captain of the ship. Do you have some business here? The hell was that? He no business exactly. You're the pirate. The, the pirate. <laughs> the captain is actually nice. It doesn't happen very often. Brave adventures. Unknown adventures await you. Adventures awaiting me. The ship is massive. Where's your mama? Hey, don't talk about her. I see you're playing adventure, but just don't go out of sight of your mama. Okay, lady. You obviously don't understand. I'm an 11 year old badass. Okay? The protagonist of a JRPG? Do not mess with me. Okay, so let's not touch anything then. 
We got buttons, levers, meters. What does this one do? I'll just push it and see. Why? Why would you just go and start like pushing buttons and stuff? I don't have machines this big in Parm. Gotta push the button. Yo, my man is legitimately a child. I've been saying it the whole playthrough, but they really hit home the fact that he's just a child. They really want you to know he's just like an immature, naive child. <laughs> Spirited boys like you keep falling into the sea and getting caught up in the gears. That's terrifying. Why would you say that? A female reporter, gambler, pirate, mama's boy, and a girl with charming freckles and a huge ribbon. And even you, a boy traveling alone. Oh my god, it's Sue. Sue was like, you know what? F you. I'm coming on this adventure whether you like it or not. What is going on there? Oh, that's the shops. Yes, my work in the Garlisle Forces is waiting for me back in New Parm. Oh, the Garlisle Forces. That's not a nice area. Or that's not a nice team. I'm the ship's doctor. I take care of everyone. Nice. But the captain is so stingy he won't hire a nurse. He thinks women shouldn't work on ships. Heard that before. Isn't that one of the rules of the sea? Say, what you doing? Oh, I'm practicing my singing. I want to become a singer. Yes, I will sell herbs. Thank you. And yes, I will buy. Minus three move. Oh, so there's like an agility factor as well. Interesting. I'm not going to buy anything. Maybe armor? A sneaker. Just one. If you want the other one, it's another 90. So we're getting rid of sneakers and we're putting on ass sneaker. What a game. I thought this was a piano. So let's play the piano. Six, one twenty-seven, one twenty-eight. Just how many rats are there? <laughs> so bored, nothing to do but count rats. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Hey, Mamuta, how's it going? Hope you've been well, friend. Pick a number between 1 and 10. 9.
Okay, okay, calm down. I'm just excited. It's a whole new world. It's Puff Puff, man. Sneakers, yummy. You know, you want to know why Puffy's here? You know why Puffy's here. The Sue didn't listen to us. How much would it cost to stay in this room? Don't ask, you can't afford it. Oh, now we're talking. Yes, hello. Your fanciest OJ, please. Um, this is a PS1 game. But this is the remake for PC and Switch. I'm playing it on the PC. Coffee. That's a steamer for you. They keep coffee in kegs. Yeah, and depending on who you ask, a lot of people like the PS1 version more because of the, the pixel art and everything, but I don't know. I enjoy how this looks so far. Look at these reflections, baby. Hey guys, how many times do you ask the same question? Well, oh, Susan the frickin' barrel man. I'm with Justin. Hey, sounds good, King. Sue? Why don't you listen to me? Parm's no fun without you, Justin. I want to go on adventures with you, Justin. Say my name one more time. You can't do anything without me, right, Justin? It's just losing all meaning. Just live with it, Justin. Stop saying my name. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, you're gonna get out of the barrel, or...? You've really given us trouble. Wait, why? The punishment for stowaways is being thrown overboard in a barrel? <laughs> oh, fantastic. They're gonna murder a child. <laughs> so much for about 10 minutes ago, and I said, Oh, hey, the captain seems like a nice dude. <laughs> False. I'll make sure she never does something like this ever again. No, breaking the rules of the sea brings the curse of the spirits. Pick up the barrel, toss it into the sea. <laughs> Please spare her. There is one way. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to do something for him. I'm gonna be the greatest adventurer in the world. Shut up, Sue. Alright, you can become sailors. Okay, so they went from murdering us to making us sailors. Hell yeah. If you were passengers, you'd be stowaways. But if you're sailors, then you can't be stowaways. Oh, he's cheating the gods. He is cheating the sea gods. How about it? Will you work on this ship until we reach the new world? If so, I'll spare the wee one. Um, yeah. Let's just accept. Well, that settles it. From now on, you two are apprentice sailors. Swab the deck. I'll be a sailor as long as I'm with Justin. Starting tomorrow, you'll work hard. Yo, okay, no one actually put me back in the barrel. I'll take my chances with the sea. Good morning, Justin. How'd you sleep? Oh, a portrait without his hat on. That teeth grinding and snoring kept me up. Bed was stinky and damp, it made me sick. Oh. Here we go. Cut it out, newbies. Can't sleep all day. Get up and get working. 
yo, push my ass over the boat. You guys know how to do your work? No. Yeah, whatever. You two are in charge of swabbing the deck. What did I say? What did I say? I wonder if they'd actually throw you overboard. That would be better than this. Manual labor? Get out of here. Oh, that's nice. So, sailors, you have to know the rules of the sea. So, do you two know them? Uh, maybe don't be a stowaway, or you gotta learn to swim. Don't be a stowaway. You gotta have chest hair. Hey, Justin, isn't that discrimination? How can women obey that rule? Don't you think it's the chest hair that makes a man of the sea? Exactly, look at my chest hair. <laughs> I think he's right. Do we have to do something? Okay. That's Puff Puff. You should talk Puff Puff. You won't make it out of your life. Naughty naughty. Yo, my man's trying to act tough, but he's happy Sue came along. How else would we get heals? Coming to work without being called? Yeah, no. I just happened to come up here. Bet you already know, but newbies always start swabbing the deck. I'm gonna have you wax every nook and cranny. Yeah, let's go. Um, no, tell me how to do it. The secret to good waxing is a balance of power and speed. To get started, press X. And press X to raise the power and increase the waxing speed. But if power goes over the maximum, you'll get tired, so be careful not to keep the button down. Release X to decrease the power. A good rhythm with the button will keep the power near max. The key is to pace yourself. You'll get a nice reward, so don't slack off. Yeah, let's go. Well, at least the music is just absolutely banging right now. Well, I slowed right down. Okay, let's not do that. I don't know, am I doing it right? Oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, just, like, I'm, I'm not actually not doing anything right now. It stopped. Oh, 
Oh, okay, you know? It was only a matter of time. Um, no. No. You wanna attack me? If I don't know how to swap deck on my first day? Do it yourself. Excuse me for not swabbing fast enough for you. Wait, I wonder if I do it again if I'll get something. Now that I kind of understand it, let's just try. Hey. No. Let's go. Like, I was doing that, like, fairly decent the whole time, and I still only was five seconds faster. No, Sue is struggling. <laughs> Look at Puff Puff. <laughs> Puff Puff is like, I wish we got pushed over. Swab boss. Twenty five G's. Wow. Just give me one second. I'm gonna do something here quick. I'm just checking something here. What the? Like, I just don't want it to, um... Okay, I mean... Whatever. I was legitimately just trying to make it so... Those pop-ups wouldn't show up. <laughs> but apparently that's too difficult to make a simple little toggle on and off. We sleep now? Oh, my body aches all over. Okay, what do we do now? Thank you for the save point. Even the spirits can't get angry at a beautiful lady like me. Well, 
clearly foreshadowing something here with the sea spirits. Work hard. Okay. So it looks like we can just sleep all the time. There must be something we need to do though. Actually, maybe something in here. Okay, I was just gonna check if the suit would stop us. Breaking him will really get the barrel. <laughs> I'm still pulling for that barrel. See what's happening? Uh, we won't worry about stashing anything yet, but I think the letters will be the first to go. I remember the town of New Parm famous for its talented dancing girls and beautiful clothes. Should I become a dancing girl? I don't know what, Sue. I don't think you really understand what that means. Are we swabbing the deck again? I don't want to swab the deck anymore. Oh, we can go in here now. Oh, do you think this is where we help people? Oh, what's up here? Gold bathtub. Pillarino? What the hell does that mean? Oh. Okay. Well, now it's sad again. My dear husband has just overwrought. Ever since we lost our dear son, he's been so depressed. Our trip to New Parm is one way to calm his soul. Sorry to trouble you. Okay. You, the porter, the bathtub in this cabin is filthy. I'd just die if my room isn't spotless. I do like things tidy, but dying is a bit much. Tiny smudge. There. Here's only 25G. I got the same amount for wiping a smudge off a tub as I did for a swab in the deck. We're just gonna stay with these rich people. For what it costs to stay here, 10 people could stay in second class. I'm so rich. Clean my boots. Dances are a fascinating subject, after all, not only people dance. Even crabs dance under the full moon. Hell yeah, they do. Birds and bugs and fish dance too. Why well, aren't we all just a bunch of dancers? I plan to realize my late husband's dream of running around. Why does everybody die in this game? Everybody's just dead. The continent of Messina is so filled with industry and steam and such, I couldn't dream of a ranch. The new world has just the right environment for running a ranch. A big gamble. I, you'll do fine. I have faith in you. What do I get? Photo permission? Photo permission? I don't know what that is. You should ask the captain. Okay, cool. He keeps a cool facade, but he burns with a love of chance. <laughs> Talking about this guy? How about a game of chance? I'll flip a coin. All you do is get it. Bet is 100G? Let's do it. Tails never fails.
point of gambling, you have to believe in your own luck and not bet against me. Oh, you're cheating. Okay, that's cool. So yeah. I gotta swab the deck two more times now to get up to 75, and I gotta clean another tub to get 25. One tub, two more deck swabs, not worth it. Not worth gambling. I honestly just want to go see with the, uh, with the captain. Captain? Who's in this photo? He looks like a sailor, but I've seen his face somewhere. Could this be the captain? You honestly just want to throw a snowball at me? Yeah, bring it. I have full artillery here. You want snow? I got about two feet of it. Bring it. If the steamer were this small, swabbing the decks would be easy. But nobody would be able to fit inside. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell do I have to do? Let's go, start swabbing, baby. Call me Master Swabbington from Swabsville. Oh, let's freaking go. Call me the Q-tip god, because I'm swabbing the heck out of that deck. <laughs> Damn it, Sue! Keep this up and I'll think about it. It's gonna freaking make me swab the deck again. I don't want to swab the deck anymore, man. Oh, something's changing. What do we use that huge light for? Sailors and adventurers use lights to signal each other. Oh, okay. We just flash each other. <laughs> I guess we'll be on board soon. So we have to signal to send a boat. Ooh, a special guest. Our guest is the greatest adventurer. Hell yes. How you doing, noobs? Oh, heck yeah. This is looking good. Time to go adventuring. Yo, we're flashing each other. You flash me, I'll flash you. Oh, that's good. That's good. this oh stupid okay hey sue what do you think the greatest adventure in new parm is like sorry i kind of think you might be a giant man with a shaggy beard and bulging muscles i bet you right now just by that saying that sentence i bet you this adventure is gonna be a good looking lady yeah, he's got to have about five arms. She's half asleep. Wonder what I'll learn at the Adventure Society. How to disarm traps. Tips for fighting monsters. Rats can't get to sleep tonight.
Oh, he sleeps on his hat. When you're a sailor, you don't even get a pillow. <laughs> That's actually insane to me, dudes. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're correct there. Just a little more. Let me count to 10. Yo, that's... Don't ever do that. If you ever have to get up, don't ever be like, I'll just count to 10. You're asked to go back to sleep. You'll be late. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Don't give me that. Didn't they say not to sleep late because the adventure is coming? Oh, come on, adventure. Please. Just be a, be a waifu. There's got to be a waifu in this game, right? It's a JRPG. Come on. Yo, props to everybody that just sets one alarm. <laughs> uh, before Jess worked at home. She would drive me insane. Legitimately, she would set, like, eight alarms. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. That's just... That's just asking for bad luck. Yeah, yeah, maybe like this? Are we spanking it? And then think about setting another timer. What's he doing? He's spanking the pipe. Hey there, what are you doing? Oh, this this is a greeting of cool sailor. Oh, he's high-fiving. <laughs> he's trying to do E-Hondas when you mash just X. <laughs> he's really bad at it. Yo, hey, Dark. You used to have a lot of alarms, but you need them for work to mark. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> don't, please don't smack the pipe with him. Oh my god, he's doing it. No, no, you scoop your hand up like this. Oh, yeah, just two fools. If you can do this, high five everyone, we'll see you as full fledged. You don't have the scoop. You don't have the scoop right. Yeah, okay. Hit you with the scoop. Shut the hell up. We're going to see waifu. Would I dropped the broom. Okay, waifu adventure, let's go. Don't do me dirty, video game. Okay, where the hell's our captain? I knocked the broom over and didn't pick it up. That's somebody else's job. I just swabbed the deck. I can't go back here now. Wait, yes I can. What the hell was that slap? <laughs> the hell they slapping? Welcome home, Fina. Boy, I missed you. How you been? <laughs> I'm doing great. And the treasure, as you can see, it's just perfect. Fina, you've outdone yourself again. I'm so happy to see your smiling face. Long time no see, Captain. You look well, too. Fina, I thought I'd never see the golden legacy of the legendary pirate Warren with my own two eyes. Ah, the Black Pearl. We gotta go to the Black Pearl. <laughs> Isn't it great? To tell the truth, I had a bit of trouble. It was one trap after another. Whoever set them sure had a bad attitude. They might catch some bumbling adventurer, but they can't catch me. At the very end, though, I thought I was done for when I had these giant boulders on my tail, but I quickly found a cave in the side. Whoa, which I whoa, did. hang on. Let's not waste a good story. Let's go sit down. You can take your time and tell me about your adventure down below. 
I'll have the men carry your treasure. Okay, Captain. Can you guys take care of this stuff? Oh, and then I hate when it does this. It just like you had voice acting. It's gone now. Oh, who are you two? Never seen you before. Oh, I'm just. Oh, he's he's infatuated. He's in love. Wow, a girl. Shut up, birds. Okay, sounds good, Ginger. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you, Captain. Will you introduce us? Of course, Fina. These are our apprentice sailors, Justin and Sue. Yeah, we swabble me and Dak, Fina. Let's give her the high five greeting. Oh no, don't blow it. Don't blow it. That greeting's only when you're full fledged. Don't you dare try to do it again, I'll kill you. Hey, sounds good, Ginger. Have a good rest of your night. For now, we shake hands. Okay. She treated me like a kid, because you are a kid. She treated me like I was 11. And I'm 12, damn it. Don't give me that. Better than being tossed overboard. I don't know, honestly. Look how clean it is. Fina did it. Uh oh. She's pissed. Looks like a hot one today. Our first red adventure needs an excellent memory. Yeah, see? I'd like to say so. Yo, somebody shut these birds up. An adventure? Hang on there. The count said you were an apprentice sailor. That's just my disguise. I've got a good cover story. You know. The problem was that Justin here was trying to ditch me. Now listen, Fina. Justin here is so terrible. And that's it. And that's that. I didn't even tell my mom I was leaving. I'm a real nice dude. What would we like to know? Tell us about your adventures. Heck yeah. Sometimes we'll be swabbing the decks for a while. That's okay. As long as we can shut these birds up. Too. I'll be an even better adventurer. Wait, she just pretty much said she's gonna come on the adventure with us. New party member? Both my parents died long ago. See? I'm telling you, man. Everyone's dead in this game. You know, that's so cool, living alone. 
Oh, little naive Justin. I don't like that wind. Suddenly, you know, at least the seagulls finally shut the hell up. I'm going to see the captain. Justin Sue, you ought to return to your quarters. See ya. Oh, the sea spirits, they're mad. Suddenly, no seagulls at all. Yeah, thank you. Finally. You guys, didn't you hear? Yeah, the cloud we only noticed because Fina did. Captain yeah, Gales come up and the sea's rough. Strange clouds are approaching too. This is trouble. I'll assemble the men. I have a bad premonition. Hello. Nothing to worry about. We have to change course by as much as we can. Quickly assemble the men. Iceberg ahead! Could it be the legendary ghost ship? You know. If you're playing a JRPG and you ever go on a boat, odds are you will encounter a ghost ship. Not that ship again. Wait, so she says not that ship again like she's fought it before. Or have dealt with it before. And now she's like, no, that's just a superstition. It's the Black Pearl. It's not a child's game all of adventure. Be good and do as I say. The Black Pearl's coming. Miss Fina, oh my gosh, come on deck right away. A double exclamation mark. Captain, tell the men to make sure they act calm. The passengers will panic. You look how terrified he is. I can't stand it. If this is really the ghost ship, we're doomed. He just walks out, all calm. Let's go to our quarters. Yeah, that's not happening.